Hey everyone. I'm just going to work on a little bit of embellishment and go through the process here with you guys. So I'm just kind of putting some paper together here. I cut this little Eiffel Tower with my Cricut. And I'm not sure. I think I might have to cut it out into like a pocket letter shape size and just kind of make a card. So I'll start to get some of my little die cuts out and put them together here. So I'll just share with you how I will, how I will do that. And I hope you guys like watching these types of videos. They're just more paper crafts. This is my favorite thing to do at night. So the lighting is quite dark here, but this is my quiet time. I don't watch TV much, so this is what I kind of hang out and do on my downtime. So I thought I'd just film and hopefully inspire some of you guys who are trying to do pocket letters or create embellishments so that maybe this will give you some ideas. So I'm just going to take an existing pocket letter here, a pocket letter uh, pocket, one individual one, and just cut it to shape. Sometimes I will sit and just cut a ton of paper with my cutter but right now I'm just working on little pieces here and there so I'll just cut this piece out and then take it from take it one step at a time because I'm not really creating a pocket letter. I'm just making some embellishments to have on hand. These die cuts are actually cut out from pages from giant 12 by 12 paper pads and they had like a couple pages that just had a bunch of pretty, I don't know, like prints on them. So I just cut them out and I'm just going to make this like a 3D so you'll see me pulling off some of this foam backing adhesive and that's just so that this kind of pops up on the page a little bit. And these little gold hearts are cute as an accent, so I thought it'd be nice to put them in behind the little die cut. Gonna use some of these little wooden embellishments they're quite they're smaller that I purchased at the the surplus store now these are also the forever in time so I'm sure Dollar Tree will occasionally see these but I just haven't been able to find them at my Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna think pick this little birdie yeah I think the little bird's the cutest I'm just going to attach that to an existing tag that kind of has come undone and fallen apart and I'm just going to repurpose it here. You know it's late when you're trying to tape wood down. <laughs> of course it's not going to work. So I'm using this Tombow Multi Glue that's an awesome adhesive. I'll link these things down below so you guys can see the glues that I use. I know a lot of times um, you guys are asking me what glue did you use. Also we'll do a video I think on glues maybe sometime next week. So I want to show you this little, little, it's like a little ticket, so I hole punch the ends and then kind of zigzag them with the scissors on and the ends to make it like a ticket. 
I think I'm gonna use it on this one here. I think it's super cute with the gold Eiffel Tower. And I'm gonna stamp this up. going to show you how I made the little ticket stub. So I take my hole punch and I'm just going to punch half a circle on each end in the middle of a little rectangular shaped cutout. And now you have like the little shape of a ticket stub. So I'm going to glue my Eiffel Tower down. My glue today is just not being nice with me. It's fussing. And even the stickiness. I have to get my little residue eraser. So I'm gonna use some of these little pearls just to use as accents stickers. So I'm just gonna cut little pieces, and then these are little nail art trinkets. I don't know what they're called, nail art pieces. I'm just gonna use them because they're kind of the same rose gold, copper gold that matches the. Um, accents here on the Eiffel Tower etc so I'm just gonna glue that little heart down it's so tiny it's hard for you guys to see in the camera but it's really cute on the page it's just a very very small touch a little gem I know I often like doing this with my ink pad is I'll just kind of take it to the border and smudge it just like that it gives you a little bit of an antique look so I made this one with a little wood piece I added fabric washi actually a magazine cut out from a Pier 1 magazine the little bunny is from a Pier 1 magazine from the spring collection I just took out a couple pages because I enjoyed the little bunnies and this one here is from um, 12 by 12 paper pad I just cut out the little die cuts like I was talking about Use some washi there, it's a fabric washi. And add a little pearl and then this twine, just tied it through. And this one here is just some washi again on the side. It's actually cut out on a piece of burlap type paper and then I just add a little pink washi, sorry, a little pink um, twine. And a little sticker. This one here, which I was just showing you guys working on. Oh, this is cute, a little wooden frame. So I just, I reversed it because it was printed on one side, but I put like a piece of lace washi and then some fabric washi and I added a couple little gems and jewels. And so then I'm not really finished embellishing this one, but at least now it has a, a starting base. And this one, I just cut out a little circle punch. I'm loving these little hearts. I used some washi there so you can see it still has an adhesive backing just to give it a little bit of texture. I put that little, I don't know, little flower I guess from the Dollar Tree. 
I think I'm going to add this little embellishment to that one there. And that's about it for tonight. I think I'm going to wrap it up and get to bed. Hope you guys all have a good day. And I will catch you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time. Bye for now.